I think it's part of the China's long-term systematic risk. As your data, the wind data pointed out, this year's default is not significantly higher than any other year. And what I'd like to point out two factors. One, actually, is the corporate profit growth uh, in China this year is not significantly lower than any other year before. And second one would be the China has been very cautiously exiting its COVID policy much earlier than any other country. So in other words, it's a result of the poor active actually exiting of the uh, credit stimulus. That's why I'm not particularly concerned about these uh, defaults in the Chinese context for now. Yeah. Well, hi, this is Christine. I mean, when you hear defaults, I mean, uh, do, you do, you, do you feel on your end that authorities are really getting to the root of the problem? Is the process in place where proper risk management is now put in place? No, not at all, because for the moment that the, these risks are not properly priced, especially any organization or corporate are tied to the government or local government. And then that is why that there has been that this uh, implicit guarantee for entities tied to the government and which is not properly priced. But central government want to break this implicit guarantee, which so far has not been very successful. So in other words, so the SOE borrowings are much cheaper than they are, what they are supposed to pay. So that's why it's not properly managed. How, how long do you see this shakeout continuing for? How long does it continue for? I don't see this problem to be ultimately resolved under the current Chinese system because the government always takes too much of the uh, implicit guarantee at the both central and local level. So unless there's an overhaul of the uh, Chinese system, I don't see this problem to be resolved. What about the property sector, Bo? And uh, do want to get your thoughts in there because I was reading up that uh, the housing watchdog in China and the central bank, the PBOC, has asked some of the biggest developers to actually report their financing debt and business data on the 15th of every month. Uh, do you think this sort of crackdown and surveillance as well as uh, checking in on their business uh, will help... Uh, stem the problem of rising debt? Um, yes, it will reduce the, one of the weakest links. I call the property developer, developers leverage is one of the weakest link among Chinese companies. So this is, again, a proactive uh, force the leverage of the developers. Because Chinese property bubble is one of the very few uh, the, uh, bubble that in China could cause a systematic risk. And it's very easy to go beyond control. So that's why the uh, uh, authorities have been more cautious of this sector than any other sector. 